Hi, and welcome to this video where I will be showing you how you can go from this to this. Let's listen. So, the first thing we are going to do is just to record our basic chords. That seems okay. Just going to quantize. Now, when you're doing an arrangement for an orchestra, you want uh, the top note in the chords to follow the melody. As you can see here, the notes are jumping uh, quite a lot. And in general, it won't sound nice when you have a complete orchestration. So what I'm going to do is take the lower note here and then move it up one octave. So I'm going to move it up here. And then again, I'm going to take the low note and move it up one octave, octave as well. Now we are in this position. Then I want it to go like this because I want the melody to be on the D. So I'm just going to take my top note and move it up to the D. Then, as you can see here, it's quite a long distance. So I'm just going to move this one up an octave. And again, this one. So now we have a structure where it goes up like this and then down to the sus4 and then back to the G. This sounds quite nice, like this. just add one more bass note there. So now we have our basic chord structure in place. I'm just going to copy this down to the strings. And as you can hear, they sound quite boring. So I'm just going to record in some dynamics. And I'm just using uh, the mod wheel for this. So there we have it, some dynamics on the strings. Now down here I have loaded up a track with the woodwinds, the high woodwinds. And then I'm just going to copy this down and then um, delete these bass notes and see what that sounds like. It just gives it a little bit of uh, flavor. And then I have a section with the brass, the mid-tones of the brass. So I'm just going to copy that down here and delete the bass notes. Perhaps this, all of this could be moved down one octave as well.
Yeah, it's coming together. And then we have uh, the lower brass. For that, I'm just going to copy all of this again. And perhaps take all of this and move down one octave. Now, one trick I pretty much always use is to give the lowest notes uh, some extra bass. And you can either use the piano for this, but in this case I'm just uh, going to use uh, this bass I have loaded up. So I'm just copying the track and then we're just going to... Well, how low does this bass actually go? So it only goes down to there. So we're going to delete all of these and this and this. And then we have an extra bass note. And the last thing that we need are uh, the choirs and I have just loaded up these two. This one is uh, the free from the free orchestra and the other one is uh, the one that comes with contact 7. And I'm just going to play these two at the same time. <laughs> thing I also like to do is create an arpeggio um, to create some more details in the track. For this I'm just going to use our piano and we no longer need these basic chords. I'm just going to delete them and then I'm just going to record this in using this step sequencer. Let's see what this is doing to the overall track. One thing I think we need to adjust because this is epic music. I'm just going to select an epic final verb and let's go for um, how much, how large a hole do we need? Let's just try this one. I think we just need one more thing to complete this track and well <laughs> I really like the brass so let's just find some brass perhaps go for the legato hmm 
Let's just see what that sounds like. That's nice. I think we can come up with some kind of melody uh, with this. Again, adjusting the dynamics. Perhaps this should be shorter. it better up there well I think that is pretty much it so now we have taken uh, the basic chords created an orchestration and got that epic feel it uh, of course you could be doing a lot more to this but this is just to give you a basic idea of uh, how I create my epic music the final track came out like this let's listen